Okay. Let's check our messages, shall we? Just real quick before we go off. info on the skill books to see if it's worth trying to get that kendo book working or not. Hey, Hi. What the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! We'll do no such thing. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. You're very smart to be making threats like that. Maybe I could use a drink. Yeah, I could use a drink. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey! Come here, I've got a secret to tell you. Wow, he's being really submissive about all this. Heather? Where are you, Heather? Why is there a man in my bathroom? Okay. There's Heather. I went fishing today and I caught a big one. Hmm. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. Are you catching my Malkavianness? I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. I already tasted him. He's delicious. You'll love him. She bit him too? Okay, smells delicious. You're weird, Heather. I like you. Uh, there's guns, okay. I guess I'll take that. Okay, let's see. Okay, so apparently I can still use that kendo book. But I have to use it before gaining another dot in melee, so I should get that now. now I think I sold it to Larry, so I can go see if I can buy it back from him. Also, is my research five yet? No, it's four. Worth six XP for sure. Okay. So I have a side quest in Hollywood. Is there anything else I need to check before I go? Oh, yeah, Picha. Got 
Should check my Egyptian lovely. Those special specializers. I want to be back here. Just saying. Crab nipple? You should probably see a doctor about that in this abandoned hospital. You don't have that problem for long. Trust me. Trust me, sir. Fisha will make you not have to worry about that anymore. Yes. The shrunken man for you, widow. Yes. This is genuine and of use to me. There is something resonating from it. A whisper. I will give you this in trade. It is known as the odious chalice. It swells with spilled blood and offers its bloat to its owner. I really like the tattooing she's got going on and the makeup job. Very interesting. It's an oily tangle of fleshy blasphemy. Thank you. I'll search this prize. I'll take this prize and search for the next. And I'll say that instead. Because I don't want to ask her any questions about anything. So the odious chalice. It's very gross and Cthulhu-ish. Esque-ish. So as I kill things in combat, it will fill up with, uh, with blood. And then I can drink from it like a blood pack. Very useful. I think I'll hold it to ten, if I remember correctly. Ten blood packs worth of blood. Ten blood points worth of blood, whatever it is. It's made by a Sabat, a Tamizi, but it's uh, it's pretty good stuff regardless. Going some way. Bodily functions are denied for me for now. Just drive. Hollywood. Something, something, something. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither was Isaac. So that's your next stop. Seems weird to me that Isaac would use uh, thugs like this. That is my next stop. Do you do parties? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. This town loves me already. Yay. Okay, which way was it? I think it was this way. It's weird how there's a crypt right there on the street. I was wrong. It's the other way. Although, I do want to check the store first. It's time for some shopping. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you choose. Also, Nobody to thank you. To. Go ahead. Thanks for the free money, suckers. to be a jerk. Actually, I can't pick that lock. It's, uh... I can't pick that lock because it's a key card. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, no. Welcome to Red Spot. When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. You can't prevent it if you're asleep. Do you need help or something? I mean, well, what can you do? Hmm. Are there any scientists out there? Where's the city hiding from me? Um, I, I, I read something. I, I don't know where. Um, where's the city? Um, I don't know where. Where's the city hiding from me? Um, I don't know where. Do you know the average person eats several pounds of insects a year? The majority of that weight is composed of roaches and spiders. I'm having to listen to frickin' five people talk at once. Give me some sexy, would you? Okay. Has the killer that walks these streets bloodied his hands again? So you never sleep at night. I assume you do sleep, right? 
Uh, is the city of stars on fire? And what exactly Always. do you do? I'm you a middle school teacher. Like that that would explain why my nephew we'll invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. We're gonna ruin it's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? There are other situations I must oh, place myself in. Yeah. Let's see who else we got. Caller, what do you do? I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? Um, I'm a writer, yes. Well, so, the volcano later. Uh, any of the movies hey, I might have seen? You should well, really I actually haven't finished any of the screenplays yet. I see. Special? So, what is so special? Other kinds of writing? I'm glad you well, asked that, bro. Well, there's some outlines right now, but I guess we really get ideas for some stories that are crawling around the old dog. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? Here are my eyes. Show Is there the anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer or actor Also, make or everybody director? stop talking in my ear at the same time. I think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those Dang. other forms by... I want your sledgehammer. That's what I want. something you're not or not even trying and to do. And... Um, this light I'm, leather. I think I'm pretty good at that too. good writing from bad writing. Well, when... Okay, let's get out of here because this is irritating with the radio. Uh, so much background noise. Okay. Okay, let's evaluate. This is a bit better. So let's equip that. And... Yeah, that is better as well. I could have swore I told you to see the Baron. Yeah, that was a laugh. <laughs> Except my sense of humor is a little askew, you know? Conflict just cracks me the hell up. It's been like ten seconds, buddy. This is getting obvious. Too bad he didn't really tell me where he was, either. He's just like, end of the street. Well, which, which end of the street? Dummy. Alright, and here we go. Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Hmm. Your messenger spun me around and pointed in me your, in your direction. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Your purpose is a mystery to the lunatic in your office. It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Hmm, this one is puzzled. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. This one is listening. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? I'm your postman. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? It will disappear and reappear item in hand. Then my questions are answered. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. I'm home. Well, I was home, but then I let, but then the asylum got burnt down, so I had to leave again. It's very sad. Okay, save. 
Quick save a lot. Okay, now we need to ruin this cafe. Oh my gosh! Oh, is that we gotta deal with you first. Everyone was worried sick about you when you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you. We thought you were dead. Are you okay? Well, I am kind you of. You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. Okay, question marks. It's me, Samantha. Don't you? Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Hmm. Leave me alone. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But. Well, no. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay, this is another conversation that's a bit difficult to navigate as a Malkavian. So I'm not sure what I'm saying exactly. Oh my gosh, is that... Help yourself, get away from here. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll, we'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. Who is this? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Alive? Don't tell them that. It's a lie. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. you Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to stop her. I don't have the conversation options I need. Oh well, there goes the masquerade point. <laughs> More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? Hey, I'm not the one who waits. I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Hmm. Many greetings I babble forth to you, stomacher of multitudinous ethnic dishes. Hello. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is... Put it in a language you can relate to. Trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. Justify your existence, devourer of souls. Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, chower hour. <laughs> Maybe if I reviewed more pancake cuts, you'd know me. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I have definitely never heard that name before. You're wasting my time. Your time is borrowed. Uh, that didn't me, work. Me, Tom Flayton. You, me, talk. Wait. Holy jogging lobsters! You are Tommy Flayton. I'm melting. Well, always good to meet a fan. Can I sign a napkin or something for you? God, this guy's no memory span, does he? a joke. You review this place. I'm laughing. How so? It's looking at me funny. Stab it again. You're wasting my time. Um. Me? I'm not sure. How do I... How so? so? I said so. You're wasting my time. Um. What, you again? It's gonna be okay. Why are you trapping me in the corner? Ah! Let me out! Let me out! Mm. Crazy mm. man needs out. Reveal is a little chewy. In my opinion, children should only be allowed in places with Happy Meals and Grand Slam breakfasts. In my opinion, children should only be allowed in places with Happy Meals and Grand Slam Reload. I'll have to, I guess I'll have to come talk to him later, because otherwise she just traps me in there. Oh my gosh, is that blah blah blah. Madness, believe me, I know. It's me, Samantha. Uh huh. Leave me alone, but eh, whatever. I 
Alright, well. That's, uh. Oh, wait a second. I have that key to the hotel here, don't I? Let's go ahead and do that. Done. Well, that happened. Okay, Brother Salvage. Yeah, the dead bodies just vanished already. That's one reason to go back to Santa Monica, and then there's the potential, maybe there's a psychic there for some reason that we should maybe be curious about, I guess. I don't know why I can't use Dementation on that guy, the, the food critic. username. Camper. Joseph K. What's under apps? Not much. Behind fast buck. Okay. Where's fast buck? Buddy. Yeah? What do you want? The Blood Baron sends forth the pawn to obtain the terrible tape. What? Blood Baron? What the hell? Who are you? Didn't Isaacson... Ah, damn. You must have the wrong guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Get lost. Hmm. Shadows draw near to you, little messenger. Tell me what you fear. All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Speak your secrets, little messenger. Uh, I don't know. I mean, 
When it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. I see Teeth and Terror, a girl lost to the bloodstorm. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. You shouldn't kink shame. Wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Hmm. Your back bears a stripe of the most curious yellow. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows, my phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. Rid yourself of its curse and hand me this horror. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit, did you see that? Nope. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And he's dead. What the? Oh, Christ! <gasps> Alright. To Isaac. To discuss the swans of gingerness. I wonder if that's anything like a ginger duck or ginger chicken. Mm, ginger chicken. Now I'm hungry. Time. Hand me the item. Hmm. It did not travel with him. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? On what lakes can I find ginger swans? Ginger swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. Where's her lake? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. Twenty years after, there are still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you'll figure it out. This makes no sense. Perfect! I'm gone. My favorite. Okay, so we're gonna go check out the graveyard. But we're gonna have to leave that for the next one. See you then.